are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. my second shift. Natalie let me sleep a little longer, which was nice. Um, well, I guess three hours. We do three hour shifts. Um, but we are about 20 nautical miles east of Key Largo. Uh, our original heading from Munnings Knoll, which is like South Riding Rocks, it's south of the Bimini, Gun Key, Cat Key. Um, was 250 degrees and the Gulf Stream has pushed us up where our heading is now 270 degrees. We have not adjusted our course at all. That's how strong the Gulf Stream is. It's, I think it's uh, about three to four knot current. We only have eight to nine knots of wind. And we're cruising at around five, six knots. So it's about six, it's about six in the morning. We have a fish on. And it's so strong, I can't reel it in. Ah! I'm just trying to tire him out. Boat's in neutral. We're just sailing about two knot boat speed, so I should be able to reel him in. Ah! He's a big fish! Now he's still sleeping. on board. Freya, is that a yummy fishy? Yeah, you're not supposed to be outside right now, are you? No, you're supposed to be binna. God, these dogs get way too excited over fishies, right? Are you helping me reel on the fishy? Are you helping me reel on the fishy? Mwah. Yeah, you're helping me reel on the fishy. Good morning, Florida. We are in Florida waters. Got a big tanker going behind us. You can see that off in the distance. We haven't seen land yet, but we're about 15 miles off. This is our sail configuration at the moment. We've got our full main. Stay half of our jib out. And we are cruising right along. I still have the engine on because I cut it, obviously, when I was reeling in that fish. And um, we we're going to three knots. <laughs> so that's not gonna get us anywhere. Uh, we have about seven knots of wind, so I, we're making more wind than we actually have. So we're just gonna keep the motor on. Hopefully we'll be able to shut it off sometime um, today or tonight. We're gonna sail straight through. We're heading into Key Largo right now, and then we're gonna change course to go further south to Marathon. We're gonna go under the bridge and then we're gonna head up to Marco. So we're hoping to arrive there tomorrow um, morning-ish and then we'll be home. Wow, this is going by so fast, it's so sad. But Also, this is gonna be our longest straight through trip ever. So yeah, it's gonna be like 
I think around 48 hours. So it's almost 24 hours. Yeah, about 48 hours of sailing by the time we get there. So hey, one step at a time, right? Till we get to that 35 day crossing. Another one! I went downstairs just to do a routine under the floorboard check, make sure there was no oil leaking, no water coming in, um, and raw water was squirting everywhere. So now we're, um, I'm gonna try to check the, the filter, the raw water filter, and see if we went through a bunch of weeds so it could have gotten clogged up. Otherwise, I guess the next thing will be to check the impeller, and then, we're in, that, we're in Marathon right now, so I'm thinking I'm going to sail down to where we can an drop an anchor, and um, we might just have to figure this out tonight and tomorrow, but we've been running the engine pretty hard, so we're almost the bridge in Marathon, just getting to the tip of Marathon, and now this, so fun stuff. Yeah, we'll keep you updated. Under that cap. Under that cap. Yeah. Um, okay, without, so, so at, the back, at, the, at the minimum, I would plug that, that, that hose so it goes to the reservoir. Okay, and that, and, and then... Under, under the, under the cap. Yeah, from, okay, so, and so, so from the outside. So if you screw in there or something that, that locks in pretty tight. Right? Yeah. And that'll keep the water from rushing out of the reservoir. Okay, do you, where are we? Are we good right now? We're not Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. I adjusted the sail. Yeah, we need to drop the sail because we're going right here. And then we're going to just have the boat drift over that way. All right. The wind's coming from behind us. All right. We need to drop this right now. All right. Drop the hook when 
whenever the boat stops moving. Just had to drop anchor in Marathon. Something with our engine, no bueno. So um, we're gonna try and get some help now. Try and figure it out now. Otherwise, get some help in the morning. But uh, yeah, from cutting my foot earlier to this, it's been kind of a shit show, part of my language. <sighs> we almost made it home. Almost. Not quite. Oh! Sasha, we're not always going to know what we're doing. <laughs> this is literally a giant learning experience. I need, a, I need a manual or something. Like, my body hurts. I'm tired. And now this happens. We're almost home and this happens. We've literally been traveling for almost a week straight. It's all right, we're still How are we supposed to be ready to cross the Pacific and we can't even make it a week without something breaking and not knowing how to fix it? Like, Sasha, this looks like shit. Sasha, looks like this everywhere. engine is, is 35 <laughs> years old. It has 14,000 hours on it. This was bound to happen. We know that. Yeah, and how are we supposed to afford a new one? We're broke. <laughs> we make old things work because they're cheap. Now that outboards don't work, I'm so tired of working on those outboards. So tired of it. Literally, you get it working, it works for a week, and then it doesn't work again. And you're like, oh, now I'm gonna take the whole thing apart again and try to fix it. Yeah. Dogs are miserable. <laughs> and I'm only crying because I'm tired. <laughs> Well, something with our heat exchanger and raw water and fresh water being contaminated and something's off um, coolant. Well, salt water was exploding out of our coolant uh, reservoir and um, there's salt residue all over our heat exchanger and everything. So we're a little bit stuck right now a little bit frustrated um we've been traveling for like a week now we're tired sore and now we're stuck in marathon 90 miles from home so it's all right we'll be okay this one is a little bit um also, that tank is completely empty um yeah i pulled out totally the stick full. and it was it was totally empty um so also something we forgot to mention is we're out of water we got 175 gallons about a week ago, and no somehow it's gone. So that's also a problem. Now we're Wait, stuck. you don't have that tank? You don't have it on? I do have it on. Don't turn it on, because if there's a leak, then we're gonna have no water at all. Hello, this is Sailing Vessel The Far Side, uh, looking for Diesel Dawn. Uh, far Side, um, this is Lady Triana. Can you switch and go to 6-9, please? Going to 6-9. The Far Side is on 6-9. Yes, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. This is um, Sasha and Natalie on The Far Side. We have actually heard a little bit about you in like even the Dominican Republic. I heard you're like a diesel, oh, diesel mechanic expert. Oh. Um, we're having an issue with our our heat exchanger. We were we're on our way to Marco Island, and we just came from Andros, North Andros in the Bahamas. Um, yesterday morning we left, and I just lifted up the floorboards, and we had raw water spurting out of our um, our reservoir. Our um, what's it called? The fresh water coolant. The coolant reservoir. Um, so I shut off, shut off the engine immediately. We were able to sail into the anchorage and drop hook, um, but I don't want to start the engine and off the motor the rest of the way to the Marco with that issue going on. Okay, uh, what motor? It's an old 1987 um, Mercedes Mandy diesel, 72 horsepower. All right. 
<laughs> okay, and you're blowing uh, water out of the, the coolant tank, right? Yeah. Is that an American phone number? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, just a minute here. Let me get my phone. <laughs> Well, I'll try to run out there and, and take a look at what you got. Awesome. See what we can do. Awesome, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is, at least this is a learning experience for us, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. but, and yeah, like I said, I'm glad it was here and not somewhere else. Right, right. Like, yeah. crossing, crossing the Gulf Stream, that would have been bad. <laughs> I need to step there and look at it anyway, so just let me get it. Okay. So we got Diesel Don that's coming to check us, check our engine out and help us out. Hopefully we'll figure it out. See, that's all water. It's salt, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to get out of there. Yeah, that's... You'll need to start draining the engine. Okay. Ends. the only thing that keeps the water from the... The antifreeze leaking is either gaskets or o-rings mm -hmm. and so that's so what's going on either one of them is screwed up now they're not they're, they're not doing their job the o-ring gaskets whatever mm -hmm. or the actual tube stack it's got a leak in it okay. see you when we see you <laughs> wow oh my god he just like lifted the biggest weight off both of our shoulders and we just learned so Woo! much we did like we didn't we even did. do anything but we learned so we much didn't. he pointed at things and talked about it and such a smart guy really knows what he's talking about for we sure. don't need a repower we just need parts we don't need to go through mercedes we can go through other things we can have things made for cheap he's got well, a guy Cheaper, cheaper than Mercedes would sell yeah. to us <laughs> and and man that was this is probably the luckiest breakdown yeah. we've ever had I mean we like, haven't had this many couldn't have, and, and the engine didn't overheat the engine was fine it would no. have run home it would have uh, just gotten water everywhere salt water which isn't good mm -hmm. but um yeah it, I'm so glad this happened here because our minds our stress levels have gone we, well a good night's sleep helped too yeah but um <laughs> Yeah, what a difference that made. Oh, man. Appreciate his help. And now so we much. can go home. Now we can go home. We just got to do a little plug, and now we know what exactly what we need to fix and what we need to replace, mm -hmm. and then we can cross the world. Yeah. Cross the world, yeah. So let's do ah! it. Ah! Let's do it. <laughs> oh, man. All we have to do is Here. cut this, put plug it up, and clamp it. So what we're gonna do is cut this, plug it up, and clamp it. But the problem is, is we might have some water drippage, so. I don't think there's water. This water, not leave. This, this side doesn't matter. Okay. This side doesn't matter because look, it's just running to this reservoir. Okay. So we don't have to worry about this side. We just need to stop up this side. So if you wanna stop up this side with your finger, and I'm gonna stop up this side and, and toss it down here into the okay. bilge, okay? So then we don't have to worry about this. Pull it out. Okay. So let's see. This screw is where I put it. Doesn't matter. No. So let's say it's about that long. Ready? Yeah. Which side am I clamping it? Either side. Oh, I don't want this running all over everything. Okay. Home and then solve this problem. Yeah. And we're off again. We got Natalie up front. 
She is getting the anchor up because nothing on our boat works right now. So we're pulling off anchor and we're gonna be going through the seven mile bridge right there. I think it's at 65. I'm still scared. Right? That's record. 65, right? Okay, the second time we go through. What's our mass? 64? 63. 63. Oh, we're good. Just don't hit that light there, you see? No, it's How it's, not up. Yeah. Let me go to the right a little more. The power lines. Oh shit. Those are taller, right? I don't know. Yeah. It kind of doesn't look that tall. It's taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Remember you were on the mast last year when we went underneath the power lines? Yeah. And you could have been electrocuted yeah. and you were still up there? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Yay, we did it! How exciting. Look at all these people catching so many fish. And just like that, we go from the Atlantic to the Gulf. Just like that. Just like that. Easy as cake. Easy as cake? Although you mean, cake is not easy. You mean easy piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> oh my God. Atlantic. And we are now in the Gulf of Mexico. Luca and Freya are like, let us off, let us off. No. Sales going up. So again, for those of you um, asking about our helm, we have hydraulic steering, so I can pretty much stand here hands-free. Just do a little tap, hands-free, a little adjustment um, whenever I need to, which makes hand steering pretty easy because you don't have to have your hand on the wheel the whole time. That's why I'm hands-free. But um, Really? Are you hands-free? Not on autopilot yet, which is pretty handy, you know? It's pretty nifty hydraulic steering. We are on our way up the channel, out to the Gulf of Mexico. We are gonna throw all sails up. We are hoping to get to Marco in the morning, so we're just gonna take it nice and easy. We've got some pretty light winds this um, today and tonight, but we're gonna take it slow because we don't want to arrive there um, during the night. I've never docked the boat at the house before. <laughs> okay, let's go sailing.
let's give this engine a break. She's an idle. Take her out of gear. Now I can't even shut the engine off. Okay, engine is off. We got some good wind, 14 knots. Can you also um, head? No, I think we're good on our heading. Okay. We're moving at like a steady five, five and a half knots. Six at times. This is gorgeous out. About 12, 13 knots of wind. Cruising right along. You guys are all looking cozy down there. Freya, you look cozy. Hi, Lou. This day has been so great and so slow and so hot. And so just amazingly relaxing. It's been nice, you know, having a calm sail for once. Actually, for the past few days, but we're almost home, which means acai bowls and smoothies and white claws and pub subs. It's gonna be nice. And uh, we'll see it in the morning. Made part. some dinner. Um, we had the fresh mahi yesterday, so Sasha asked for pasta with a basil pesto alfredo sauce and capers. So she asked and she is receiving. <laughs> Jeez, you want some pasta with that parmesan? Mmm. Muy bueno. Ah, uh, yes. I've never seen this much lightning in my entire life. This is insane, and of course, we're like sailing on the outer bend.